Hey guys, and welcome to The Witcher 3. My name is Jagras, and so many of you guys have been commenting, when are you going to play the DLC? Jag, you should play the DLC. When are you going to play the DLC? And I did say I was going to have a little break, but that break is now over, and we are playing The Witcher 3 DLC. This is going to be the first episode in Hearts of Stone. So actually, when I was doing my Witcher playthrough, I looked at a notice board and found this like notice about uh, a contract from Olgierd von Everick which is the kind of opening quest to the Hearts of Stone DLC. So today, that is what we're going to start doing. We're going to go and see all geared and find out about this contract and I guess find out a little bit about the DLC, what's going on, and see kind of, yeah, basically what's, what is what. Um, so yeah, I'll probably have these episodes be a little bit longer than the Witcher episodes were just so that we can get through the content at some point. Hey there. You know, that would be good. So expect these episodes to maybe be a little bit on the longer side. Um, but let's get started. So we have to go here. Oh, I thought there was like a, a marker right here, but there's not. Go to his house. Wild one. Oh man, isn't that a song? Pretty sure that's a song. You know, hey. Oh, cutscene. Hi, mate. Your mug's not familiar. What is it you want? Looking for old Geard von Everick. Ah, that'll be inside. It's a giant toad. Is it a giant toad? Oh, is it the toad prince? Is this this quest? Maybe, maybe. All these people look the same. Everick. I'm looking for him. None here by that name. So then, who are they? Can't help wondering. Who are you? Who do we look like? A crew of cutthroats. Or a band of former soldiers who got lucky? Ah, but that's where you err. Because we're sons of nobles all. <laughs> and daughters. So, gonna tell me who you are, precisely? The Redanian Free Company. The wild ones, folk call us. Owing to the boar in our coat of arms. So, Olgierd? I was told I'd find Olgierd von Everek here. Someone's made an ass of you, brother. <laughs> Hilarious. So like. maybe you can make up for that and help me, brother. Something tells me you and me have got different mans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ungus, you've had your fun. I'm Olgierd. Tell me, what brings you here? No, no, I'm all geared. I was going to say, I didn't you, think he was all geared. Not likely. I'm all geared. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Folk are hooting all, and I'd love to stay for more laughs, but time's short. Whoa, shit just got serious. Hear about the monster in the sewers. Seems old geared Von Everex offered a bounty on it. Shit was serious from the start. Goes without saying with a witcher. How's that? The purge, you lot of emotion. It's why you're all stiff. Hey, you think they shoved the long pike up your arse? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Master Witcher. Just are done. Whether the good bit as it is, I'm impressed. Come on, I'll take you to Old Geard. Still not convinced that this isn't a bamboozle. Like, these people do not seem particularly trustworthy. That one has a knife. What do they call you? Geralt, Geralt of Rivia. Gerald of River. Bit nice of to advice, meet you. Geralt of Rivia. Once you meet Olgierd, try and pique his interest. I gotta pique his interest? He's the one who wants a monster dead. Aye, but he don't need you to kill it. Then why does he want me to come here? I don't can I don't understand. Ottoman, sir, you've a guest. Do you know what types of sculptures fetch the best price? Yeah, see, that's all geared, because that's the right voice Statues actor. of deities, busts of kings, and nudes. 
And what have we here? A naked wench. What do you think of her? His head seems much too attached to his head. Let's be cheeky. Frankly, you gotta say I prefer the work of Pax Gernst. Ah, the Kaviri School. Are you an Oxenfurt man? No. Know some folk who graduated from there, though. <sighs> Are you still like Votticelli? The life he could breathe into a chunk of cold stone. She doesn't have a belly button. But I look at it now, and it seems just a rock. Ideally proportioned. Not a flaw on its surface. Painfully perfect. As lifeless and boring as a boulder at the roadside. <laughs> That's better. More interesting, at the least. Very well. And now to the matter at hand. Let's rejoin the company. Partake of some refreshment first. Ataman Olgierd. Long may he live. Long live the Ataman. Long live the Ataman. Long live the Ataman. Come and drink with us. Well, we haven't a choice now. Why does he put up with these people? Why do I put up with these people? Fetch us some wine, dear. And a nibble or two. this some special occasion or just feel like feasting every occasion special today we celebrate a dubbing whose squire herodor's new saber i've hit on a name for her fair saber i dub thee traditiana that's a terrible name <laughs> right so work monster in the sewers know anything more I've no clue what it is, only that it's deadly. I'd not have bothered had my cook not become its victim. Oh, the way she prepared game had no equal. That why she was in the sewers? To fetch game? Nay. Hey. She went to a fair with her sister or cousin, matters not. Daft wench convinced her a prince transformed into a toad lives in the oxen furt sewers. And you know women. Each craves a prince and will wade knee deep through shite to get him. Vissy was no exception in that respect. Now she went, never to return. Wasn't the first, it seems, either. Hey, it is Toad Prince. That's a Gwent card. <laughs> hey! Leave her be! Is that any way to treat the Lord of the Manor's daughter? Apologies. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. The contract. So, you'll check it. Uh, let's talk money. Just one formality to resolve first. My pay. Never you mind that. Return with the beast's head, and you'll have leave to take anything you wish from me. Awfully generous. Still, I'd prefer to agree a specific amount. Oh, fine. How much would you like? Three? Four hundred crowns? Four hundred and fifty. Agreed. And that'll be in addition to whatever memento you wish to take. Hmm... Consider the beast gone. Confident. Bring me its head, and the reward shall be yours. This is this is awfully suspicious. I'm not convinced. That's a, that's a quality drawing. I'm not convinced that everything is fine, especially as I've seen. The, so the card art of Olgiad, he does, has no head. In The Witcher Three, he's like hey, holding it uh, under his arm. Puss papers. She call me puss papers. I will fight you. Name's Geralt. But I'm gonna call you Puss Peepers. Is that a problem? Yeah, and I'll fight Get you to for the it. Point. Got an offer. Potentially lucrative Puss Peepers. Someone's killed me mate. Name was Clivert. You're to figure out who did it. Then cut the bugger's head off. I don't think, like, she's good at talking to people. Like, yes, I want you to do something for me, but I'm going to insult you in order to get you Why to do it. Why not avenge him yourself? Seems like you all relish swinging your sabers. 
Aye, we do. And if I knew who'd axed Clive it, I'd have gutted him ages ago. Thing is, I don't. But you see a lot with them puss peepers. You'll track him down. Oh, she calls me puss peepers because I've got cat eyes. Keep talking. Clive Ert dealt fist tech. A few days passed, he rode to Bowden to take a delivery. Never came back. Been there? Actually seen his corpse? No. But Clive Ert was one damned reliable orson. We was to meet. He didn't show. Can only mean he's dead. Find the bastard who did this. Find him and kill him. I'll pay top coin. Need to think it through. Clivert's got a scar on his forehead. Not unlike yours. Spot that, you'll know it's his body. Said I'd think about it. Know what, puss peeps? One look at a bloke and I know what he's made of. You'll do what I ask. I bet anything on it. Look for me in Oxenfurt. The alchemy in on the main square. Oh man, I'm getting side quests. Well, you guys know how I feel about side quests. They are quite a, uh, a staple of this Let's Play. But for now, I'm going to go to the Oxford Pit Sewers, I think. I think that is a good place to go. Let's go investigate this giant toad prince. Alright, so here are the sewers. Let's just clamber in. In we go. I like how everyone shuts up as soon as they get in here. Search the sewers with your witcher senses. Okay, so we probably want cat potion. There, we've got cat potion. Okay, that's fine. Let's drink this. Drowners, eh? Drowners. Drowners aren't really a big deal. I pressed dodge. This game is rigged. I forgot about Quinn. Oh, dodge, 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 dodge. Why is my controller not happy? Am I contr am I and my sword is broken. This will never do. Okay, so let's just quickly fix this while we're at it. I should have some repair kits. I basically barely use them. So I think we're all good to just repair this and kind of get on with life. Okay, so searching the sewers. Aha. Uh -huh. What have we here? Can I not examine this? Prince. Large. Man's most likely. Not only women came looking for the cursed prince. Where did the boot prints go? Is there like a direction? Uh. Slash wounds made by a blade. No monster did this. So someone came down here and killed drowners. A man. Interesting. Oh, a cutscene. I found him. He's not looking so well. Oh, no, you don't. Hear me. Don't you dare. Please, don't do this to me. Is it Shawnee? Shawnee? Geralt? It is Shawnee. What are you doing here? I'm trying to save his life. Help me. Shawnee, calm down. He's dead. I'm sure something can be done. Let it go. Oh, Damn it! All for nothing. Why is Shani in the Oxford sewers? Thanks, Geralt. It's, uh... Good to see you. You too. Lost track of you after I left Vizima. Where'd you go? What have you been doing? Um, long story short... I've been treating the sick and wounded, as always, mainly at my clinic in Oxenfurt. But in Redania, I'm called on to help the army at times as well. I'll want to hear the long story long, too. Sure. But uh, once we're out of these sewers... So why should Redanian the sewers? army force you to come here, too? Were you just down here for a pleasant stroll? Got our orders this morning. I came down here with a whole unit, but something attacked us. Uh, let's ask about these. What attacked you? Attacks. Get a good look at it? No. I started running as soon as it appeared. It was huge. 
spat venom and made these slurping sounds. That's all I know. Hmm. Doesn't sound like a major necrophage or a pack of drowners. No. This was one thing. Big, but one. Somebody threw a torch at it. Monster couldn't have cared less. All right. Not afraid of fire. Good to know. Okay, and who's this guy who's dead? The soldier. He's someone important to you? His name was Nalls. Supposed to go on leave next week. Now he won't. Nor will the rest of his unit. How many were they? A whole squad. Six brave boys. All dead. And she's not dead? Why'd they send you down here? Only if it's not confidential, of course. I need a venom sample. From the beast that prowls these sewers. It doesn't just kill those who come down here, you know. The water in so many wells is contaminated. Folk are getting ill. Rudanian soldiers among them. Plan to kill the beast. Bring you a sample of its venom after I do. Nice of you to offer. But I'd rather go with you. Collect the sample myself. Creature's dangerous. You saw what it can do. I'm a big girl, Geralt. I can take care of myself. And you know I'll get my way, so don't try and talk me out of anything. <sighs> Fine. Your choice. So show me where the monster attacked you. This way. Show me on the doll where Raven's the monster touched bent. you. Something large struck it with a lot of momentum. I shot it as I fled. The monster must have slammed into it. Glad it Ooh. held up. Though now we need to find a way around it. Is it worth searching outside? We just are Actually, this. just hoping the monster's blow weakened one of the walls. Easy. Careful. Monster might still be here. Can't really explore these. What is this? Like a rock? I guess that's just the rubble I pushed. Another cutscene. This is the torch someone threw at it, I guess. Now it's my torch. Soldiers from your escort? Yes. That's them. Vern. Miklas. Ugh. Poor boys. Beast doesn't play around, apparently. They saved my life. Know them well? Him, I met this morning. But Vern and I served together at the Battle of Dorian. Miklas only enlisted this Yule. Sorry. Once you kill this beast, we'll have to send someone down here to collect their bodies. Give them a proper burial. So what happened? What exactly happened? We came in here and Miklas started looking for tracks. Then drowners attacked. The men made quick work of them. But Franz was injured. His leg. He and I stayed behind. I tried to bandage him up while Nalls stood watch. Then that beast appeared. Nalls pushed me towards the exit and ran at the monster. I turned around and saw him lying there, covered in a sticky substance. I ran back to get him, then dragged him to where you found us. Where was the monster? Well, Miklas and Vern had driven it away from us. And paid dearly for it. So where are the other two? That were Managed six to get a look at what attacked you? Everything happened so fast. I didn't get a good look. No. Only saw it from behind. I know it was large and slimy. Right, well, let's have a look around. Gotta look around. Man you patched up. Is he here? Bronze? I don't see him. Think the monster might have dragged him off? Could have. Hmm. Beast probably crawled in or out through here. It's deep. The lower level of the sewers has been closed off for years. But Vern, the commander, had a skeleton key. See if I can't find it. So we find the key and we go we go hunting basically. Wouldn't it be on his body? Like the most logical place for a key to be is on a guy's body. Key. Good. Let's get going. Okay, so you can tell that there's monsters further below. Redanian army orders. Okay, and that just helps says that they need to go and find the sample. If I fall down here and then like um die, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Geralt, are you alright? Of course fine. I'm fine. I can't get down this way. I'll look for something. Uh, why else. do I not have Quen on? Be careful. 
So drowners are... I want to say they're necrophages. These guys are tanky. They don't hit very hard. Um... Let's use... I want to say necrophage. They're not beasts, they're not cursed. Yeah, let's try this. I was hitting about 600s before. Yeah, this is better. I'm not hitting 800s. The other thing we can actually do... Oh, I was going to say we can use Thunderbolt, but apparently I have to recharge my potions. Whoops! Dude, come on. Jonas ain't got any chill. Crap potion. The thing is, like, drinking any potion actually heals me kind of decently. Jiminy Cricket. There is a lot of drowners. That one is dead. Right. Kill one of them. Clean it up. How am I going to kill all of these without them killing me without potions? Okay, we don't have any solo potions either. Shit. This is kind of bad. Maybe we just have to keep Quen up. So as long as we keep Quen up, we should be okay. I mean, we are healing from the... Although we could actually... Actually, what we can do is we can use a decoction. We have um, Ekamara decoction, I want to say. Oh, I used Ekamara decoction. Oh, we have these Swallow Potions. That's not such a big deal, then. That's me casting Quen and it just immediately turning off. This is too many drowners, Jesus Christ. Like fighting about 8 million drowners at once is kind of a pain in the ass. He's almost dead, come on. There we go, okay that one's dead. And we can, like I said, we can replenish our potions after this fight. So let's just take these guys out and then we can have a wee meditate in the sewers as you do. There we go, that one's dead as well. It's actually way easier once you kill a few of them. And you can see this one's almost dead as well. And then you can just kind of slash them up. It's just fighting like seven guys at once is like, obviously not the most fun thing to do. Oh. Oh, it's a cutscene. Okay. How is Shani going to come Go. down here? Are you alright? I'm good, Gene. I'm fine. You? How'd you get in here? I squeezed through those bars. Look, it's bronze. What's left of him, you mean? What kind of beast would do that? I don't know. Mm, a lot of flowers. Does that mean anything? Well, it means our monster doesn't attack them. Seems they get along with whatever's prowling the sewers. Some kind of symbiosis. Right, let's have a wee look. Hmm, interesting. What? Franz had a leg wound, right? Mm-hmm. Just above the knee. Managed to apply anything to it? Yes. Some spirit, but that was it. Why do you ask? Look, half of Franz's leg is gone. Monster must have chewed it off. Other bodies were untouched, except for the wounds they sustained in battle. Hmm. Are you suggesting... The beast likes alcohol? Mm-hmm. Mixed with blood. That is weird. So I guess we find its lair. Dad will learn anything else here. We need to find the lair. Right behind you. If I have to loot like a million drowners. Like think of all the brains. I bet you I can't even meditate here as well because there's so many freaking drowners. Maybe we go like here. Let's see. Meditation. Huh. <laughs> like how they were surrounded by drowners, but we'll just have a quick meditate. Let's drink this cat potion. Okay. I guess we have to kill them, but we should also probably have a look around. These guys are tanky. It's Quen. Um, the other thing we should probably do is just drink this water so that we have like constant healing. Do I, have to re I, I guess I have to like reapply oil myself. He's dead. This one is almost dead. No, 
There we go. Cool, I'm just gonna reapply Quen so that it's Show up. Me. You get your sample here? Sure, along with a bunch of dirt, rubble, and drowner droppings. I need a clean sample from the lab. That would be best. I'm not convinced this is wise. Sod and letter. Believe it or not, folk are saying there's a prince cursed into a toad wandering the Oxford sewers. I know it sounds like a fairy tale, but suits from Hillop swears it's gospel truth. So people are saying go into the sewers to marry Woman's a prince. Corpse, soaked in slime. Beast must have left it for later. It's not a good look. And what are we here? Body's basically intact, just half covered in slime. Hope the wretch didn't suffer. So are all the women just coming into the sewers? This doesn't seem very sensible. Looks that way though. Let's just apply Quinn now while we can. Watch out. Move. She's not even here. I wanna kill this one first. It's much easier if you just focus one. Maybe I should like lock onto it so that I'm finding the right one. But I think then it's harder to tell when you're about to get hit by something else. It's kind of part of the problem. That's him dead. Cool. The thing is, like, I don't really mind taking hits because these guys don't really hurt. So you may as well just take a hit to kill them quicker. Just for the sake of brevity, more than anything. Alright. What have we here? Loads of slime here. Enough for your sample? It'd nope. be more than enough if it wasn't contaminated. So I gotta get into like slime on me. I'm not really into that, you guys. I'll, I'm not into getting slimed on, you know. It's not not something I can say that I enjoy. Dead drowners everywhere. <laughs> Seems the monster tolerated them. Long as they don't get too close, I guess. Right here we go. Decaying corpses, slime everywhere, and that stench. This has to be the lair. Fresh and moist. Beast was just here. I'll collect my sample. Huh. All the tunnels and corridors converge here. What now? Need to lure the beast. How? We don't even know what kind of monster it is. But we do know it likes a blend of blood and liquor. Just so happens I've got some alcohol on me. Well, I hope you don't plan to cut yourself or... Relax. Plenty of bodies. I'll use one of them. It's a bit gross. Sample you collected enough? Hope so. But I'd still like to get some pure venom. Once you've killed the monster. To distill an antidote? No use for it once the beast's dead. Not true. I have a few poison patients on hand. Besides, I can study the venom, test it, maybe discover some interesting properties. She has a point. I'll get to work. Hmm. I doubt I'd be much help in the fight, but you might need me afterwards. I'll look for a hiding place. You'd be better off waiting for me up top, or back home. But- No buts. Wait in the passage for now if you have to, though I'd rather you didn't. But when the monster shows, you run for the surface. Ugh. Fine. Shani, look at me. Promise you'll stay out of it. She's not gonna stay I out promise. of it. Good. Now go hide. Be careful, Geralt. This is where you save your game, because you're inevitably gonna get fucked up by a giant frog. This is appropriately grim.
Those rats are not happy. I want to fight rats. I didn't end up earlier in the last way. Aww, he's so cute. And a bit creepy. Can I like deflect his tongue maybe? Okay, so first things first, Quinn. Second thing, out, out, Thunderbolt. Oh, he's not really a prince, is he? Can't see anything. Holy shit, it does so much damage. I just realized I have like no health. Can we use Quen? There we go. Am I really hitting him for this little? No, not like this. Holy shit, his, his tongue did half my health. I didn't want to drink that one. I wanted to drink that one. How do I kill him? Can I lock on? I can't lock on. There we go. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna die. Kill the monster. I don't know if it's enemy upscaling or what, but this guy is taking no damage. Sometimes, like, when you play this game with upscaling, like, it kind of fucks with the game. This isn't going too badly. Now. Now we just roll. Just dodge whatever it is that he's, like, pooping out his back. The other thing we could do, actually, is we're gonna drink the Ekamara decoction, I think. Uh, do I want this one? I don't know how much... I'm pretty, I don't know, I'm pretty, like, toxic at the moment. Oh, come on, really? Jesus Christ. I thought I had Quen up, so I took the hit. I did not have Quen up. Now I have Quen up. Oh, I had Quen! I'm gonna, I'm totally gonna die to this. Unless you're meant to like die to it. Uh, I'm about to bleed out. Like. I don't know, I've done like 10% of his health maybe using all of my potions. Like, the toughest fight I fought was Imlareth, and this is probably tougher. Like, how do I dodge that? Unless we, like, throw a bomb at him? Is he a beast? I think he's a beast, right? Maybe we use beast oil. I don't know. Right, so I've put enemy upscaling off, which I think will help. I'm also going to use beast oil. Maybe that'll help. Do I use my silver sword or my steel sword? Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I'm using the wrong sword. I don't know. I don't think so though. Right, it's a monster. How much damage is that? I can't read what it says. Because he's so big, I can't actually read my damage numbers. 200. Should we try using the the steel sword? No, but it's a monster, right? So we shouldn't. Dodge the tongue attack. I don't know if this is more or less because I can't see the numbers. 517, yeah. Maybe this is better. We then also use Thunderbolt, so let's drink that. Oh, he's on fire. He does not like fire. Okay, okay. So we can maybe actually use um, Igni for when we don't need our Quen. This is better. The, the fire damage seems to be doing a lot.
But then we, we kind of need to have Quen, because every time Quen wears off... Oh, Jesus. We could also use Ekamara Decoction, which gives us healing for when uh, we hit him. So we want to dodge his jumps and his tongue. But he just keeps jumping. Although this actually, this loop isn't hurting us. Because he just keeps jumping. We've, have we gotten him in a loop? Ow. No, we, we did have him in a loop and I broke it. Right, let's use Igni. Oh, I missed. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That was spicy. Spicy. Holy shit. I don't know what that was. That was like an explosion. I need to use Quen though is the problem. Like taking hits is not working for me. But he doesn't seem to be doing well with the flames. So maybe we just dodge and then use Igni. Like that seems to be working quite successfully. Whew. I mean, dude is still super hench, right? I don't know. I don't know what's the, the correct technique. Uh, we ate some food. The other thing we could do is eat the the Ekamara decoction, which I don't hate as a strategy. So if we go uh, inventory, this is the one that heals you when you deal damage. So it's going to give us a little bit more survivability. I'm also wondering if we have any food, because food effects persist, so if we have any really good food that like heals you a lot. Like super food. I don't know. Okay, I can't perform that action during combat, apparently. I need to get close enough. And then not die. I, I do have the regen, like I say, so this is pretty good. And as long as we stay to the side of him, it seems like it's going okay. The other thing we can do uh, is we have other swallow potions. We don't just have one kind. So these ones we can put here. And then just accept that we're going to be kind of toxic. Uh oh. That was good. Hoo -hoo -hoo, his tongue attack really hurts. That's the one we don't want to get hit by. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Whew. We are living our life on the fucking edge here. Like... We have no health. Okay, so down to a third health though. I'm gonna be super upset if we if we lose this. So long as we stay to his side, this seems to be working quite well. And then dodge when he jumps. And he's on fire again. I don't know if the fire is really working, but it seems to be going okay, so this is the strategy that we're going to employ here. Ow. The other thing we want to do is we want to drink another lightning potion. We could always clear the effects of our, our potions. Oh, Jesus. Did that hit him? I don't know if that even hit him. All I can see is his ugly face. That was a good roll. I also don't know if this sword is better than the silver sword. Maybe. Oh no, I'm using the silver sword, my bad. I was gonna say maybe we should use a steel sword, but I don't think that's gonna help us. Oof. Okay. That was good, that was good, that was good, that was good. I'm glad we have extra follow potions. This would be really difficult without them. And this Ekamara decoction as well. Like. At least we're healing a little bit. I could do with a better sword, I feel like. This sword doesn't feel particularly impactful. Whew. So 
swallow potion. Jesus Christ. Oh, he's so nearly dead, though. Ah! Ah! Did we do it? Oh! That was a stressful fight. I'm covered in the slime now. That's not good. Considering it's supposedly poisonous. I think Shani will come and save me, though. Wait, it's a man? What the... What? Like a curse? I guess like Toad Prince or Drunk Toad is a cursed card in Gwen. So it must be someone with some sort of curse on them. Yeah. Who on earth is this guy? Finally come to, and he can speak human. Turns out, started thinking I'd not converse in common the whole way, except maybe with my reflection in the piss bucket. Why am I on a boat? Where, where am I? On the albatross, or the fuck bath oil. It's their strange tongue, has it? En route to a fear. Don't remember signing on as a sailor. <laughs> oh, you didn't, mate. They dragged you aboard. Seems you killed that prince. But why is their prince a toad in the sewers of Oxenfurt? Oh, toad in the sewers. Damn it. Should consider myself lucky, I guess. Could have killed me on the spot. Depends how you look at it. Happen to know a bit of a theory. Heard them saying they come here on a mission, dispatched by their king to find their prince, lift his curse. Wage of their honor, and that of their families five generations back, that they'd bring him home safe and sound. And I killed him. Great. So, must think they can save their honor by bringing the prince's murderer back to face the king's justice. It's kind of convenient they showed up right as I killed their prince. I'm just saying. And who might you be? Felipe Caligran, at your service. Petty thing, professional fence. And your guide about Oxenfurt. One other bit of time. Mm. And why are you here? You kill a prince too? Well, to their thinking, I had a hand in this one's death. See, I was their guide. Led them down into the sewers. But not until after you'd cut their prince's gut open. Sorry about that. Not your fault, mate. When all said and done, could have sat on my ass in the alchemy playing Gwent. Didn't have to brag about knowing Oxenfurt better than my own breeches. I call it this guy. We've been at sea long? Uh, don't know rightly. Not that long. Though, on the other hand. But what's it matter, any road? Matters a lot. If they're hauling me off to hang me, I'm not in a hurry to arrive. Me? I'm glad to be sailing to a fear. I hear they got wild horses there. White, with black stripes. Always wanted to see one of them. Sure they're not black horses with white stripes? Nay. Black horses with white stripes they got in Zangwebar. That I'm sure of. And Shani, is she here? Listen, there was a young woman, a medic, red hair. They capture her too? Don't recall seeing anyone of the sort. You were alone. Good. Means she managed to flee. Hopefully made it home. So, how do I get out? Tried to break out yet? Bah. Used every ounce of charm I got. Nothing doing. Might be my affair is rusty. My fear is non-existent. Well, we'll be at sea at least a month. We'll teach you some of that time. Elkal Orial. What's that mean? Told us to shut up. There's been a misunderstanding. Can I talk to your captain? Alakal Sorkan. Galavatkar u Albata again. Quiet, dog. You killed our prince, and you'll pay for that. Gileam Balar. You'd be dead already. Revhag ne aram e kar. Vengeance is not ours to reap, Anna. Torgate ye alami. 
We swore on our own. Can I just use Axie? I say, take me to your captain. Valf Alekhe or Egulath. What? Elkal! Vyoth. Vyoth. Alekhe. Il. Echali. That's not right. That is not right. I think it was maybe the bottom one. What just happened? What did he say? He said to sit quiet. And that you'll hang in two weeks. And then he added something like, We'll see who's in the mood for jokes then. Why? What did I say? That you wanted his auntie's hat. That was the gist of your road. Great. Give it a rest. No point talking to that lot. All you get is angry gurgles. And they puff up, you notice? Like them fish. What's it they're called? There Pepper anyone fish. here who speaks common? Ah, there's this mercenary with them. Looks Adanian to me. He's the one recruited me to show him through the sewers. Oh, and the mage what leads them knows a bit. Heard him talking. But I doubt either will talk to you. Uh, I was you. Catch some shut eye. Not go on flapping my tongue. Got a long voyage ahead. Sleep's not what I need. Someone I can actually communicate with. That's what I want. Greetings, Geralt. Remember me? It's Gaunter. I remember. We met in White Orchard. You're... Gaunter Odin. Known also as Master Mirror. I helped you find your Yennefer. We meet again. And it seems you need my help again. Heard a noose awaits you. That is, if this slot doesn't kill you first. Uh, so why are you here? How'd you get in here? Long story, it'd bore you. I'd prefer to focus on something more useful, like getting you off this ship. Because you do wish to disembark, do you not? Yeah, sure. But what on earth could you... Oh, more than you'd ever expect. I shall help you, Geralt. But before I do, I must know you return the favor. Right. Can't possibly get something for nothing. Indeed. When all said and done, I am a merchant. So, do you want my help? Yes. It's a deal. Once it's all over, we shall meet at midnight at the crossroads, meet the willows near the village of Yantra. Ah, and I must give you something to remember me by. He said he's a merchant. <laughs> merchant confirmed for Gondor Odin. What's that? A mark. To show we're uh, associates. We burned me. And he broke his spoon. Who are you gabbing with? With no one. Oh, never liked boats. Not one bit. They heave like devils. Make me stomach churn. Oh, it'd be primed to sleep through the whole thing. Oh, is he gonna drown? I hope the other guy doesn't drown. I guess I can't save him though. Didn't bargain for no storm. But fear that means a tidy jump in my feet. To a fear get us safe. The king's reward will be generous. What about the prisoner? Before the king we must bring him. On doing so, my honor relies. Can we just bring your king the bastard's head? Like they do with the other? The other drowned. We could do nothing. We delivered life. Oh, they killed him. Apart from all else, the hell the king is sure to condemn him to. I wish to see it. What kind of hell? That's a shame. Daring, flaying, and quartering. This is the punishment for regicide and heads. That was pretty cool. Oh, 
I'm free. I want my things back. All right, well, here goes. We can still use signs, I think, even if we can't use. Oh shit, I forgot I had, uh, I thought I had Quen up, but I don't. Where am I drinking these potions from? Uh, I need to switch to Quen. I want to take this guy out first. He's poisoned, uh oh. Roly poly away. Quen up again. Where's the mage gone? Maybe I should kill him. I can't even get close enough. But if we kill the adds, it's going to be easier to kill the mage, right? Because I'll be able to get to him. This guy's almost dead as well. There we go. So we killed two of them. As like The ones with the shields are kind of a pain. But other than that, they're kind of fine. I'm never going to be able to apply this level up. Jesus Christ. Calm down. He should be squishy as fuck. Can we axie him? I don't know if it's going to help me. I can't get close enough. Everyone in this game is super strong. He just dodges those. And these guys have... Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Actually, these guys, because then they're really easy to kill, because then you can break their, break their shield. Which is a little bit awkward otherwise. Once they're dead, we'll take on the soldier. The, the mage. This guy's almost nearly dead. There we go. Cool. So now just this one. I guess we wait for him to hit us and then retaliate. That's the other way you beat soldiers. Not good. Okay. One to go. Oh, he killed his he killed his teammate. Right. Now we can kill this mage if we can get close enough to him. We could maybe try Erden. I don't know if that's going to work, though. No, it's kind of just hurting me. In which case, maybe we just stick with Quen. He's not very strong, though. Like, he hits kind of hard, but he, he, he takes a lot of damage, right? Holy shit, where the fuck am I? Am I dead? What? That is ridiculous. Okay, so here we are again. Trying to fight this this guy. Uh, let's see if we can actually kill him. Yeah. Jesus Christ, he hits like a fucking truck. Like a truck! Let's just... Uh, make sure we're potioned up first and foremost and then take it from here I suppose guy hits really hard but hopefully I won't get freaking one shot again yeah. look at this guy has hacks mages man not even once as soon as I get to him he just teleports away oh that's the thing that killed me last time Where's he gone? Jesus Christ, I just can't get close to the guy. Did he just, did he just knock that back? There we go, I hit him with that one, at least. Nope. Ah. I mean, he's in poison here, so he's getting hit at least. Is he dead? Jesus Christ. Can we Igni him? I think that's the way to kill him. No, 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 no. 
Jesus Christ, you. You deserve to die. Whew. What is it with all these spicy fights? DLC got hard, you guys. DLC got hard. Alright, let's loot all these guys. What's in this chest? Okay, I've got some gear. Where's my gear? I would quite like that back. If I have to, like, recraft all my gear, like, there is gonna be trouble. We'll get some of these, uh, chests and stuff, though. Hmm, don't know. This is where it's, like, in my inventory, I just have to equip it. Oh my god, if it's in my inventory, I just have to equip it, I'm gonna be, like... Yeah, okay. Seems good. This is my silver sword. Um, looks like I have everything re-equipped now, so that's good. Cool. Alright, well next up is to go and meet Gaunter. At midnight beneath the willows. Not so fast, Roach. So I was on the way there, but there's a side quest here. I don't know if it's a Curious part of Stone side quest or what, but... Anywhere is good for that. It's simply a matter of summoning inspiration. Vodka, for example, is a great aid. Care to drink with us? To poetry? Yes. Why not? I am a bit thirsty. And when a man is thirsty, melancholy strangles his soul. Poor Gascoigne! Did they rob me? Gentlemen, I am so pickled, crocked, and stewed. Now oh, he just got blurred. Okay. <laughs> Want another term for your state? Don't be vulgar. What will our new friend think? Poor another. Last round. Fine. Last round for me, though. I definitely think they're going to rob me. Vodka's gone, as are the troubadours. And my things. Damn it. I do have to go get my things now. Ah, okay. Right, here we go. Let's go let's go get the things. What got stolen. Should probably get off. Uh, can we look at the footprints? Footprints. Fresh. So they're in this village somewhere. Do you want to be my boyfriend? No, I do not want to be your boyfriend. I like how they thought they could get away with it. Know what rhymes with wicked witcher? My things, before I turn you into mincemeat. Must be a slant rhyme. Shut your trap. And give it back. So then, we are square, even good, yes? Hmm, once I get my things. Not quite. We'll be good once you give me your things. Oh, I thought he said my things. You can keep your knickers. <laughs> I thought he said we'll be good once we, you give me my things. But I actually just took their things. So that was fun. There we go. A little bit of a side quest. Right, so we need to wait till midnight here now. Oh my god, children are singing. Quick, quick, med meditate. Make it stop. Oh, I need to apply my level up. Shit, I probably should have done that. Whoopsie daisy. I don't think owing Gaunter a favor is a good situation to be in. I knew you'd come. You a soothsayer? It matters little who I am. Your escape, I made it possible. Previously, Yennefer, you found her thanks to me, so you feel you owe me. Memento you gave me. Pretty effective reminder. That is its purpose. Incidentally, I find it quite funny how even the most rotten scoundrels have this inner compunction to repay debts of gratitude. Humans, elves, dwarves, all races. 
You really must explain that to me one day. As for the here and now, tell me, how'd you manage with your theories? Hmm. I guess we'll just ask him. You appeared out of nowhere, disappeared just as mysteriously, summoned a storm. Let me guess. You're a mage. Oh, please, no. I cannot stand spells. Childish hocus pocus. It's just not interesting. What I find fascinating are true tales, true human lives, like the one I shall tell you now. It's about a man, worse than most. A vulgar, despicable man with a heart of stone. A man who refuses to pay his debts. Is that all geared? Really think this will interest me? Any reason why? He's wronged you as well. His name is Olgierd von Everick. But what did he do? Don't know why he's on your shit list, but I've got no quarrel with him. I believe you do, but have yet to realize it. Olgierd von Everick did willfully and maliciously conspire to cause you to kill a man who might have been cured. Had I not intervened, you would have lost your head for this. Do you know why he did it? Because he's a degenerate monster in human flesh who feeds on the pain and suffering of others. Well, you clearly don't like him. What did he do to you? He and I made a pact. A pact under which I called on my many talents and associates to give him what he desired. And now the time's come to pay. Yet, he shirks his obligation. Need me to collect a debt? I'm not some hired muscle. Muscle is not what this requires. It needs a soul intelligent and clever. An individual who fears no dare. Someone like you. Pure flattery, that. Of course it is. After all, I am a traveling merchant. But make no mistake. I have many interesting wares on offer. Wares like? Surfeit. Abundance for the body and soul. You will lack neither food nor drink. As a witcher, you might desire weapons supreme. I can offer you those you dreamt of. Your body, agile as never before. Your mind, faster than lightning. Romantic prowess to charm all womankind. I've already got that. But above all, I offer a great, true adventure. An experience like no other. The fate of only the chosen few. Sure sounds generous. And all that for my help with one small matter. Won't want anything else from me? Just one. Honesty. What did he do for Old Geard? What did you do for Old Geard? Break him out of a cell too? In some sense, yes. I remember that day quite well. It was a light drizzle. Yet the cold tore right through you. Olgi had appeared at the break of dawn, gaunt as a rail, his shirt moth-eaten, seemed to have naught but the sword at his side. It quite pained me to look at him. He asked for help, and help I gave. Made him a rich man, successful, esteemed. He is who he is today, thanks only to me. And yet afterwards, he turned his back, shunned me. Sends me off when I dare ask for payment. Even sicked his hounds on me once. He's thus left me no option but to invoke the terms of our pact. And that is where you come in. So what does he owe you? Huh. How much does he owe you? <laughs> Gentlemen, don't discuss coin. Need to know the details if you want me to get my hands dirty. How much? A million crowns? Two million? It's not money. I'm no usurer to lend coin for interest. No. What Olgierd owes me is far more personal than shiny things that clink. As much as I regret it, I can say no more. I must respect his privacy. Okay. What about you? Call yourself a man of many talents? Can't you take care of this? Therein lies the catch. Our pact states... But before I can collect my due, 
I must yet fulfill three wishes for Boneverick, but I cannot fulfill them myself directly, making use instead of a... Mm, how shall I put it? A proxy. Mm-hmm. So what you need's a sucker. What I need is an ally. And something tells me I shall find none better than you. What do you expect me to do? To start with, join me in paying Von Everick a visit. Then, well, then we shall improvise. I believe, however, that all will end well. And, once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. Right. Specifics now. Thought Holgeard had three wishes, requests, whatever. Uh, he does. He may ask three things of us, yet we won't know what they are until we see him. <sighs> All seems a little shady. Your help, your pact with Olgeard, his three requests. Think it over. I agree you've no a priori reason to trust me, but as it happens, I was in the right place at the right time to help you. And it's also the case that the same man has wronged us both. To my mind, those are reasons to work together. To my mind, not so much. Come with me to see Olgeard. You shall see he's a vile, dishonorable man who treats the lives of all folk like playthings, as he treated yours when he sent you to find the Frog Prince. Fine. I'll go see Olgeard with you, but no promises. That is all I ask. Now remove the damn mark. Naturally. Just as soon as you complete your task. Go. You will not regret it. We shall meet there. I have a matter to attend to along the way. Another debt to collect? Perhaps. Gaunter is such an interesting character. I can understand why people are really passionate about the DLC given what's happened so far. Like, everything that happened was really interesting. The the characters, the kind of story, it's very um, enticing. And also the fact that it happened really quickly, I think, is part of what makes it... Uh, Part of what makes it you know good dlc is like everything was kind of it, it kind of got going really quick which is good and also the the combats themselves were quite challenging i will uh, admit to that i found the the fights themselves i mean you saw me die in both of them so you know i found them relatively challenging but uh yeah i think i'm gonna leave it there you guys if you enjoyed this episode leave a like let me know what you guys think of the dlc in the comments below and what you thought of gaunt or dim beyond that you can always subscribe to the channel for more content including the witcher let's play um, and if you, I already said if you like this, you yeah. know, Twitter, you can follow me on Twitter at Jagras and on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Jagras. Uh, in the next episode, we'll go and see old Gid. We'll probably also have a look at this side quest I got, the one about helping kill someone. Uh, it's in here somewhere, but we'll probably look into this, uh, the side quest about, um, the investigating things and, and what have you. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have an awesome day and hopefully I will see you guys in the next episode.